best way to use gems and speed ups in Grand Cross Age of Titans. Let's jump right into it. Grand Cross Age of Titans are sponsoring today's video. You can play by clicking the link down in the description below. Today, let's talk about the absolute best way to use your gems and your speed ups early on in the game and the ways you should not be using your gems and speed ups as well. But first, let's talk about the speed ups. You can see them here in your inventory. You've got all sorts of different types of speed ups from the building speed ups that will allow you to have your constructors build and upgrade buildings even faster, save you a lot of time. And you've got your research speed ups that will allow your research in the academy to go by much quicker as well. And we've got the training speed ups that allows your training rounds over here to up to train troops much faster as well. And then the last one is just the overall Q shortened speed up right there, which basically does all of them at once. Now, early on in the game, they give you a bunch of these because they want to lure you in. They want to get you used using these speed ups so that way you'll buy more so be a little careful it's up to you if you want to buy more in the shop or not but use them sparingly because once you run out it's not that easy to get more i mean you, you definitely get more through rewards over time but you're not going to get like an unlimited amount so be careful so first up the building speed up let's talk about the best way to use it you've got all sorts of different buildings you can be upgrading at once or um, at any given time, there's a million different buildings, but the most efficient way to use your building speed ups, if you don't want to use them on everything, and you shouldn't, is to be using them on things like the academy or your training grounds. And speaking of which, let's go ahead and train something. I'm wasting time here. Boom, get my cavalry training. Pro tip. Uh, the reason why is because while you're upgrading your academy, it doesn't allow you to research stuff. So you're kind of missing out. There's an opportunity cost there by not researching while you're upgrading your academy. So if you're going to upgrade your academy, then you might want to consider using some of your speed ups, your building speed ups to make that go faster. Or if you're playing and you want to keep training troops as quickly as possible, but you're upgrading one of your training grounds, you might want to consider speeding that up. That way you can get right back into training more troops, training more cavalry and not miss out on any time there. And we actually got all of our troops here ready to go, so let's start training some more. Oops, wrong button right there. Go to our infantry training. Train them. And our combat engineers. Let's get some of those too. Sweet. What you shouldn't be using your building speed ups on are things like the sawmill, the farm, etc. Where if you're upgrading one of those, you can have your other farms still producing. And so you don't really need to speed it up. You can if you want to, but it's not as efficient. Next up, the research speed up. So this is going to be used for your academy. While you're researching in your academy, and we should be researching right now. I'm wasting a little bit of time. But let's talk about the most efficient places early game to use it. Your building technology here is when you definitely want to be using it. We're actually going to speed this up. Let's go ahead and use a couple of these. Boom, 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 boom. And the reason why you want to be using these to speed up your building technology is because look at the bonus you get. Building speed, you can get it all the way up to 5%. And that's just going to make all of your building, all of your upgrading for the rest of the game faster. You want to get this early game as well while you're still in the first couple days of playing. You want to make sure you're getting this all the way to level 5 as quickly as you can. Also, if we scroll over a little bit, your compile research one. You want to get this all the way leveled up as much as possible because then you'll be able to research 5% faster for the rest of the game. So this one we need to get all the way up as well. But there are some prerequisites. For example, you got to get your academy all the way to level 10 before you can start this one. In the last speed up, the training speed up. Now this one you can use kind of sparingly whenever you want to, but only use it when you know you're going to be online and playing for a while and you want to just keep attacking attacking over and over and over again but you don't want to wait you know 18 20 minutes for troops to train that's when you use the training speed ups don't use them when you're offline don't use them when you're going through some of the story mode stuff or you're just chilling with your alliance or doing other things gathering out in the world use them when you know you're going to be using your troops over and over again that's the best time to use those training speed ups. Next up, the gyms. Everyone's favorite. You can see them in the top right here. The gyms. You can view the cash shop. You can buy more gyms. Uh, if you want to be a big spender, go for it. 
most of you guys, I'm assuming, are going to prefer to play free-to-play or maybe just spend every once in a while, not a whole lot. And so if that's how you're going to play, you need to be very efficient with your gems. They give you some gems early on. They have a lot of rewards to give you more gems early on in the game as well. Of course, they're trying to entice you to use them, so that way you want more later. But be careful. Let's go over some of the best places to use the gems. So the absolute best place to use the gems early on is you see this VIP button up in the top left. You want to use your gems to get your VIP level as far as you can, as early as you can, because you get all sorts of special perks. Let's go over some of them. You can see some of them right here. Just by getting to level one, you're already getting your stone production up, your gold production up, all sorts of other productions up, and you get these rewards every single day. Every single day for the rest of forever, just for logging on. You get to VIP level two, even more stuff, gathering speed, uh, level three, stamina recovery speed, building speed, just more and more perks, more and more free items every single day. Level four, the same stuff. Level five, more stuff as well with the training speeds. Level six is where you get something special. Permanently higher additional building artisan. This is clutch because normally you only get one builder. When you first start the game, they'll give you a second one for like 48 hours or something to help you out. But if you want to have a second builder, you got to come over here and you got to spend 150 gems right here to get your second builder. And you only get them for two days. So once you get your VIP to level six, you have him forever without spending any more gems. This is huge. You want to get your VIP to level six as quickly, quickly as you can. And then VIP level seven, more good, good stuff. And then VIP eight is where you get some special stuff as well. The daily free rewards for logging in. Guys, you can get a mana stone for the legendary hero of your choice. This is huge. And you also get your advanced prayer book, which is going to allow you to get legendary heroes. And you get these both every single day. So try to get to VIP level eight as quickly as possible. If you see this button in the top left right here, this is how you're going to increase your VIP points using gems. And it's like a one for one trade. So five points are going to get you five on here. And you got to get your VIP all the way to level six to get the second builder level eight. You get the daily legendary hero rewards. Another optional place to be spending your gems, although I don't consider it super efficient, but it's up to you. If you go over here to the star fragment and you check out the limited time sort of deals they have where you've only got a limited amount of time to get these, sometimes they can be worth it. So you got to just check in every few days, see what they're offering. Just know it is kind of expensive, you know, 600 gems for one summon, 6,000 for 10 summons. It's up to you and how bad do you want these limited time summons. Now let's talk about some places where you don't want to use your gems. I think is in here where you've got the the battle buffs. Um, I mean, you can increase the attack of all troops by, you know, 5%, 10%, whatever. You can increase your defense as well and your counter scout, but it's very expensive. And it's not worth it unless you're going to just be absolutely sure that like for the next 12 hours you're going to be attacking or else this could be a big waste of gems. Same thing for the strategy and defense. You know, they've got all these sorts of deals in here, but they're very expensive, especially early game when you don't have that many gems. Why would you want to waste all your gems on just getting a small bonus or a small protection here, especially with the economy? I think you don't really need this. Just focus on leveling up your economy type resources, getting more of them instead of coming in here and spending almost all your gems on just a little 25% boost for one day. Be careful with that. Those are the best ways to spend your gems and use your speed ups in Grand Cross Age of Titans. Let me know what you guys think. If there's any other better places you think you should be allocating your gems, let me know down below.